Hi, Internet and Casey. This is Melly with 25 and 52. Uh, the cat threw up on my shoes today. Again, you know, sorry for your loss. Uh, for anyone who's just watching my videos or hasn't, um, doesn't know the context, Casey's grandfather passed away, and so that's why there hasn't been a video up from her. Uh, so we're all just going to forgive her for that. <laughs> and... Yeah. I've been watching Merlin because I was uh, in the mood for a new TV show I don't have to pay much attention to now that I'm caught up with Supernatural. Um, and it's pretty entertaining. The special effects are terrible in the best way. And they're finally getting to a point where the episodes themselves are pretty enjoyable with the different characters. Like, uh, their Lancelot is wonderful, and the entire show is basically, like, half of it is people being like, hey, damn it, Merlin, why do you always need me to help you with these harebrained schemes? Everything is so convoluted. And your people are going to find out that you use the magic, and then you will be killed and murdered and awful. It will be terrible. Um, and then the other half of it is those same people being like, Merlin, Merlin, I need you to help me. I need you to help me with a harebrained scheme. Uh, <laughs> so it is pretty entertaining. And I, you know, I like it so far. It's been my pointless little stress relief. Work has been kind of obnoxious. I'll, I'll just come out and say it there. But whatever, they pay me. Don't, don't worry, I'm not going to use this for food. Oh, what else should I talk about? What else should I talk about? So the other thing is I've been thinking a lot about the internal what am I going to do with my life question and I don't quite have an answer but there's a possibility um, that's been kind of interesting to me. So right now what I do is basically medical billing for workers comp and also some pretty much lost cause files where there is health insurance they should pay but they're not or they're not paying enough. I write a lot of appeals, talk on the phone a lot. It's kind of a royal pain sometimes, but in general, I'm on more or less the side of good and life skills and blah, 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 blah. However, it's made me that much more interested in making sure that everyone or close to everyone has, you know, access to health care um, that won't make them go bankrupt, right? Um, and I've been paying attention to that kind of thing for a while, but more so now that I'm personally seeing the bills every day. And, you know, it's tough. It's tough. I want to fix it. And so I thought about, after this job, going to do something kind of similar, but on behalf of the patient. Um, but then I was like, you know, as much as it hurts now when I'm not able to get through this, it'll hurt even worse then. And burnout and no good, no good. And so I was like, well, maybe if I aim at a more systemic level and look into patient safety or some other public health type thing, so I might branch into that and there's a possibility I'm going to go to graduate school for a master's in public health. Maybe, probably. We'll see. <laughs> so that's what one of the things I've been thinking about lately. Oh. Once things settle down a little bit and you get the hang of stuff a little better, I want to talk to you about coming to visit you once you're out west, um, since I unexpectedly have more vacation days than I thought. I mean, not that I wouldn't visit you anyway, but this way it'll just be a little easier. Um, and, you know, maybe in September it'd be nice. So we'll, we'll chat, it'll be great. Apparently this means chat even when it's probably not going to happen over telephones. Because we're cool. Anyway, um, I love you. That's about it. I hope I hear from you soon. And yeah.